This video tutorial will demonstrate the basic operations level setup of a Eurotherm 2132 or 2116 controller. The 2132 or 2116 controller is a fixed hardware configuration instrument. What this means is that it comes standard with a logic output on terminals 1A and 1B and a relay output on terminals AA and AB. For the purposes of this demonstration, we will consider the 2132 or 2116 controller to be set up as a heat slash cool or heat cool controller with the logic output set up as the heating output and the relay output set up as the cooling output. And the process input will be a type K thermocouple set up in degrees Fahrenheit. We will be using the four keys located across the bottom of the controller to navigate or change the parameters of the 2132 or 2116 controller. The leftmost key is the page key. The next key to the right is the scroll key. The next key to the right is the down arrow key. And lastly, the furthest key to the right is the up arrow key. First, it is assumed that you have configured the 2132 or 2116 controller. If not, please view our video tutorial, Basic 2132 or 2116 Configuration Level Setup. Please note that most parameters are displayed in the Operations Level mode. If you do not see a particular parameter that you need, then it may have been hidden from the Operations Level. To hide parameters from the Operations Level, you must go into the Edit Level to do this function. Please refer to the 2132 or 2116 instruction manual for further details of the edit level. Or you can temporarily go into the full level to unhide all parameters that were hidden previously in the edit level. To go into the full level, you press the page key repeatedly until you read ACCS on the display. Press the scroll key once and you will note that the display reads code. With the up arrow, change the value to 1 on the display. The display will read pass, then code again. Press the scroll key one more time and the display will read go to. Press the up arrow to change the display to full. Press the page key once to go into the full level. At any time you are in a display and you want to quickly navigate to the home display, press simultaneously the page and scroll keys once. From the home display, press the scroll key once and you will see the confirmation of the degrees F setup for the display reading. From the home display, press the scroll key twice and OP will be on the display. Press the up arrow once and the display will read the calculated output percentage from the PID algorithm. Please refer to and review the operations manual for the 2132 or 2116 controller before adjusting any of the following parameters. From the home display, press the page key and AL will be on the display. We have no alarms set up in this example, so we will not drill down into the AL list. Press the page key again to advance to the ATUN display or AutoTune display. Press the scroll key once to drill down into the ATUN list and tune will be displayed. Pressing the up arrow key will allow you to toggle the controller into the auto tune mode via the on or off selections on the display. At this time, leave the ATUN mode in off. Press the scroll key repeatedly until the display reads ATUN. Press the page key again to advance to the PID display. Press the scroll key once to drill down into the PID list and PB or proportional band will be displayed. Press the up arrow or down arrow key will allow you to change the proportional band value. Press the scroll key again for the display to read TI or integral time. Pressing the up arrow or down arrow key will allow you to change the integral time value. Press the scroll key again for the display to read TD or derivative time. Pressing the up arrow or down arrow will allow you to change the derivative time value. Press the scroll key again for the display to read LCB or low cutback. Press the up arrow or down arrow key will allow you to change the low cutback value. Press the scroll key again for the display to read HCB or high cutback. Pressing the up arrow or down arrow key will allow you to change the high cutback value. 
press the scroll key again for the display to read rel.c or relative cool gain. Pressing the up arrow or down arrow key will allow you to change the relative cool gain value. Press the scroll key again until the display reads PID. Press the page key again to advance to the SP display. Press the scroll key once to drill down into the SP list and SPL or set point low limit will be displayed. Pressing the up arrow or down arrow key will allow you to change the set point low limit value. Press the scroll key again for the display to read SPH or set point high limit. Pressing the up arrow or down arrow key will allow you to change the set point high limit value. Press the scroll key repeatedly until the display reads SP. Press the page key again to advance to the IP display. Typically no adjustments are made in this input list so you will not drill down into the IP list. Press the page key again to advance to the OP list. Press the scroll key once to drill down into the OP list and OP.LO or output low limit will be displayed. Pressing the up arrow or down arrow key will allow you to change the output low limit value. Typically the output low limit value should always be minus 100% for a heat cool controller. Pressing the scroll key again for the display to read OP.HI or output high limit. Pressing the up arrow or down arrow key will allow you to change the output high limit value. Typically the output high limit value should always be positive 100% for a heat cool controller. Press the scroll key again for the display to read CYC.H or heating output cycle time. Pressing the up arrow or down arrow key will allow you to change the heating output cycle time value. Typically, the heating output cycle time value for a logic output should be one second or less. Press the scroll key again for the display to read CYC.C or cooling output cycle time. Pressing the up arrow or down arrow key will allow you to change the cooling output cycle time value. Typically, the cooling output cycle time value for a relay output should be 20 seconds or higher. Press the scroll key again for the display to read ONT.H or heating output minimum on time. Pressing the up arrow or down arrow key will allow you to change the heating output minimum on time value. Typically, the heating output minimum on time value for a logic output can be set at auto. Press the scroll key again for the display to read ONT.C or cooling output minimum on time. Pressing the up arrow or down arrow key will allow you to change the cooling output minimum on time value. Typically the cooling output minimum on time value for a relay output can be set at auto. Press the scroll key until the display reads OP. Press the page key again to advance to the ACCS display. At this point you are complete with the basic operations level setup. Press the page key again to advance to the home display.